Man, I was just looking at peppermint sweats. Oh, I was, I was sexy. Um, four eleven. Yeah, I like that. I like hearing motivation messages. Let me feel good. Let me feel like somebody got some hope. We all got a little hope. Everybody got some hope. Hopefully, you know what I mean. Ain't nothing like hope, y'all. Hope keep you alive. Hope keep me alive these days. Hope. Hope. You know what I mean? I don't know how people make it without God. No, I know how they make it. They be on some dangerous shit, but I'm talking about really make it without God. I know you can't do it. I gotta thank God for everything. I had, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Outside of being financially unstable, broken in the ass, stowed in the trash, paying dumps to die. I enjoyed everything, yo. So, that means I had fun. Best summer break out. Three years off. God gave me three years off of work. Damn, man. That's something. That's a blessing, bro. I ain't never been off work. When I had the money, I told y'all I couldn't spend it. Everybody else would get it. Oh, I got this problem. Oh, I got this problem. Don't have no problem. They just suspect, suspect that we got it better because they live somewhere up, you know, in a higher uh, cost of living area. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. But they don't understand the economy changes, too. <laughs> It don't matter. If you reach up there, you come down here. If you ain't already got the money, you're going to be broke. In no time. Because this ain't what it is. It's a form of life. You know? They got to keep people tough, thoroughbred. I guess that's how they feel. But that ain't it, nigga, though. You know what, though? One of the last things I had, I fixed for myself. I actually thank God I got to the physical, to uh, basically touch up the physical and clean it up and get it ready for the next guy. Uh, because life keep you so busy, you ain't even gonna think about uh, rebuilding your body, your vessel back. You ain't even gonna, well, that's something I do, you know. I feel like that. Plus the vessel, spirit, and the soul mind me better when I let them uh, filter, right? And even though when I let them filter, especially the flesh, people judge me. But y'all, everything got a filter. You can't just stop something. You can if you do it like y'all, stop it and never go around it. But y'all, that shit crazy as hell. That's like, stop eating McDonald's. You know, it's one McDonald's in the whole world. Everybody eating McDonald's. You stop eating McDonald's, you go on strike. And there's some McDonald's everywhere. You still don't want to eat it because you on some kind of crazy strike. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's irrelevant. Like, did God tell you to do that? Hell no. Did God tell you to waste coffee on yourself? So the people for the coffee being too hot. And then, uh, uh, you know, just be grown as hell, crying about stuff. Oh, coffee hot. I'm glad I wasn't there at McDonald's that day. They'd have kept, they they wouldn't have got no lawsuit. Because I'd have told her straight up. She said, oh, coffee hot. Coffee burn, me, man. I said, it's hot co it's coffee. You, you want a hot coffee, right? She walked out that big. A nigga told her that, too. Oh, she was like, hot, hell. You want a hot coffee? You burned yourself? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry to hear that. I don't drink coffee. That's why I don't drink it, because I'm scared I might burn myself. It's got a caution sticker, a big old caution sticker. It's got a lot of caution stickers up there. It got so many caution stickers up there. I, once I take a look at the coffee machine, I don't even think about lawsuit. How did you get a lawsuit? You got a great lawyer. You got the guy. That must be a... Uh, in uh, uh, 
incarnated of. What's that lolly name? That got Michael Jackson in the mall? Johnny Cochran or something? That must be an incarnated Johnny Cochran in a white man suit or something. Oh, it might just be a great lawyer. Ooh, wait. Wow. You so Coffee? Hot? Too hot? How hot is too hot? Wow, you gotta measure the heat? Wow. So you can't go by the mug. You can't just say it's so hot, you know, the mug pop, like on TV. Oh, I thought that was real. You know what I'm saying? I was tired of ass up. Shit. <laughs> I worked at McDonald's, bro. And, uh, somebody came in and I worked at McDonald's, KFC, Wendy's. I was selling drugs there working at McDonald's, man. I ain't selling no drugs at McDonald's, though. They was a lot of snitches up there. But everywhere else, I was, was balling, bro. You say you want what now? I ain't got work today, but I get paid. Okay, good. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got you. Bro, I, miss, I ain't gonna say I miss them things, but hey, it's good being plugged in. You know? But yeah. Night Peppermint says to say, y'all, we got to uh, thank God. Thank me, bro. I've been, hey. I can honestly say with humbly, I ain't never in my life seen a good day. And when, it, when I saw a good day, it went just as fast as it was a good day. I thought I told God I'm Cain. Because, you know, God nicknamed, he got nicknamed too. You know, we all get it from God. He be calling me Abel. I call him, I say, no, I'm Cain. Cain can get a job anywhere in the world, but Cain can't, uh, can't um, enjoy none of his fruit and labor. I say, I'm Cain. I'm definitely Cain. I fit that description perfectly. He said, how you know you ain't Joe? Oh, Joe didn't cuss you out. I've been cussing you out since day one. Right after you got me out of hell, he said, you finally out of hell. I did a nigga move on God. I said... And I went to cuss the guy right back out. I said, tell you, you can take me to hell. Oh, you can take me to hell. We get back in this meat so You can take me to hell. Oh, I was on some bullshit. Now, he put me in, you know what, though? He got me good, though. So he put me in a situation where I had to hear that all day, every day, all day long. People telling me what I could do and how I could do it, what I should do with my energy. And I'm like, oh, my God, that's, that's nerve-wracking, guys. How you do it? Why ain't you fired all of them? That's how I be talking about. Why ain't you just leave, God? You are God. You don't need us. He said, I need y'all. I need everybody. I need everything. I, God agreed, bro. God, I call him an Indian giver. I don't know what that means. I ain't trying to die. I'm Indian. We Indian. We can say it. But I call God an Indian giver, y'all. And he used to get mad. I said, you can't get mad. Cause I know God meets so. Like the main meat soup over me. <laughs> I be picking on his little meat soup. Because that meat soup could destroy everybody else, but that meat soup cannot do nothing to me. That meat soup knows that now, too. That's why that meat soup think I'm putting magic on. <laughs> I wish y'all would stop telling that girl, y'all terror people out there quick, bro. Y'all know how Scorpios are, man. Don't do that to them, y'all. Don't play with their star ego like, like that. Because they get... They get real serious about that. If you're going to tell her something, tell her the truth. But see, she fucked, that she fucked, she screwed herself. Dealing with two Capricorn with the near same birthday. You that fucked you all up. You a terror reader too? You, 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 oh, that messed you all up. That throw you in the trash can. That throw, it didn't throw you in the trash can, but it tested your might. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, now you got to separate these two energies. And damn, we can't focus and we, in, in person, our energy act similar to. So you, you just screwed yourself. But like I told her, though, before that, she went with my cousin. And y'all, this ain't her fault now. These are different towns, literally. So I asked her, where y'all you done been at? And I told her where all I been at. And I brought up a few names. She said, you know, I could tell her, look at her eyes. She done dealt with it in a personal way. And I said, you like to stay in the family, don't you? Well, that's a good thing. Nice to meet you. You've been looking for me. I'm your twin. I'm late. Five years late, actually. I was supposed to talk to you that day. You came to the studio. That's what I told her, y'all. And now she's still at the 
want to admit nothing to y'all, bro. She's too busy to compete with me. Listen, ladies, let me tell y'all something. I'm going to just say this. It ain't going to take it. Don't take this to the bank because it ain't real. You know what I'm saying? But it's like being sarcastic. But normally when you got a good man, it's when you want to be like him. Literally. Like when the woman want to be like the man. <laughs> I want to be as the man. I want what the man got. Either way it goes. Some fashion or form, you wish you could be like this man. You wish you could do this. You wish you could grab the attention. Like, he grabs attention from your family. You wish you could do this, but you do. You go to his family and grab attention. You know what I'm saying? That's the way it works. You just don't notice it because a woman ain't never... Th I ain't seen a thing for a woman outside my grandma. I'm telling y'all, bro. And her friend, I ain't seen no more thing for women since then. And you know what's sad? All them women got more than the vast majority of the women back then that my grandma was affiliated with, and they all bought on y'all. I can't say y'all had more than my grandma. She, my grandma, she could just fold. I saw her. She could just fold her arms and look at her husband and say, and she probably know he done been cheating. She'll look at his ass and say, go buy me a car, nigga. And that nigga's going to get up. He going to have that car by the weekend, a brand new one with no miles on the clean. I ain't lying. If she busted that nigga and she did it off, <laughs> and that nigga walked all in the house, and she was a clean, she was like a white cleaner, bro. Like she cleaned hard. She'll look at his ass. I'll be in that tripper with her ass because she love the Jones. She Jones hard, y'all. Like, I be hearing some of y'all women get offensive when I say stuff. And my grandma taught me, man, my grandma was a genius, bro. People talk a lot about my grandpa. My grandpa was the armor suit. You get what I'm saying? But it took both of them to accomplish what they accomplished. My grandma was a fucking genius, y'all. And, you know, it was sad because I didn't know that until seven years ago. <laughs> I always thought she was a fool, too. I was like, this woman crazy. Sitting there, man, just cheating on her. I used to say, I used to say the same thing with my old lame old family. I quit, why I quit fucking with them? Because you don't know what nobody going through. You can't say shit about nobody, bro. All you can say is, can I help you? Real shit. That's all anybody can really say to anybody these days, y'all. Really at all, can I help you? Like, when people get all excited, and a lot of women, even this twin of mine, they think that's lame, bro. Like, I stay calm. Like, if a guy come up, <gasps> even if I ain't going to fight, if I look at him, I might go, whoa, you know. And I'm going to say, after you do all that extravagant shit, I'm going to say, can I help you? Is you okay? Shit. And they'll be like, no, man, I come to fight. You ain't come to fight me. No, hell no, not the way I feel today. Ain't no way in the hell somebody like you come to fight me, bro. I'm not finna fight you. For what? What kind of car you drive? You look back there, white, it don't matter who they is. They got some kind of crazy shit back there with flags or something. I don't know, whatever, you know, it's just some crazy shit. I, I ain't finna fight you, bro. Fuck, no, I'm not finna fight you, dog. And then even if they got something nice and they rich, you look at them, where your girl at? You look at that girl, that girl just looking at you like they're a drooling dog. It don't even matter how fine they is. No, bro, I ain't finna fight you. Hell no, because you already know what instigated the fight. This, this, this got, in, got out a lot of character because of something that you already got in your possession that's yours. And you think, I'm finna fight you for what's mine. That I still have, man, even if I didn't have it and you stole it. I'm not finna fight you, because if I bought one of them, I could buy two of them. And done done it before. I never do that shit again, though. Know? Done done. That care like, sick care like I had. Just, I be telling people, just over, you know that's the same. You know that's a different car, do They be like, <laughs> it's old, y'all. That car fucked up, too. But I'm saying that's my second one, though. That's why I said I might not do it again. Now, if they came out that long care like, which I understand, because they would have had to just make so many. I'm still going to buy that Cadillac. I'm going to go get them to custom make me one. I want that big convertible. And uh, I don't know what kind of color I'm going to put on. I do, but I ain't going to say nothing. Y'all be out there. Y'all be out there copying and pasting niggas, bro. Don't get no love to the nigga, no nothing. Copy and paste. Some of y'all so rich, got so much money, y'all can fix. Y'all can listen to me right now. Call, make four or five calls. And go pick that car up this time tomorrow. Look, just like what I said. I ain't fucking with y'all. I know it. I know what real plugs can do. That's what I told Charlotte today. She saw one. I said, now that's a real plug. 
And she looked, she was like, ooh, she said, all, went all that crazy shit, but it, you know, it, it, it threw her off for a while, because she had to really think about it. Because I told her, you won't know no real one. I just told her that one. I ain't going to never tell her another one, though, because I ain't supposed to do that. I know that's breaking the code, but she already in the gang. Yeah, everybody know her, so everybody fuck with her, so it don't matter. So, and, you know, God told me to be quiet. <clears throat> but, uh. You don't like me talking about that girl. My ancestors don't like me saying nothing bad about all y'all. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm going to tell y'all. If you do cross your twin, the female twin, for me, the females tend to, uh, it don't matter if they meet me. If I if I cross them at a McDonald's somewhere, they just wild out sometimes. <laughs> but not anymore, though. But uh, they can get dangerous, though, y'all. Twins can get real dangerous. But for me, the females would attack me. And then when I finally get around to that long figure eight of a, a trial run they got for all men, I ask them what their problem is. Then this thing, you know, we be dating. You know what I'm saying? And I, I like it like that. People be like, even my twin be like, how you deal with it? I deal with it because... When you're dealing with somebody vibrating as high as you vibrating, even if they are cheaters, they probably ain't going to start cheating on you till two, three years, five years in the relationship. So I figured I got that much time to build up some currency with her back because I might, normally I got jobs where females can get jobs. Like, I always need a secretary, always. And it is so hard to find an underground secretary, like an underground financial aid agent. It's hard to find one that you know you can depend on. That's why I took it upon myself to learn learn my own shit too, because when it comes to money this time, dog, I ain't fucking with nobody. That's why I'm on top of this online shit. When they, when they get ready to swap it out and have it all currency on, I'm ready for it, bro. I just hope I have all the gear I need, because I'm going to be ready for it, bro. If they don't let me in this time, I'm going to hold a sign up saying Black Lives Matter because that'd be fucked up. But I, mean, I, I got y'all this time. I got proof. I blow the whistle last year. Y'all did some shit like this. <laughs> That's my proof, though. So, man, they still in evidence now. They still in evidence burning them and everything, bro. I seen a motherfucker burn my evidence, and he smiled at me. All his teeth were missed because, you know, we met at that drug out. And that's why I, I thought about fucking, I thought about, you know, if you see a, table with 12, 13 people, 15 people, whatever. And I ain't but one that got his teeth and shit. I figured you know better to try that bullshit, but they didn't try no bullshit. They, they didn't know better. <laughs> they knew better. They just didn't give a fuck. You know? yeah, they were bored. Too many people talking, bro. Too many men and I talk with their women. That's one thing. My last, I got so many uh, go. I got not goals. I got so many. I'm finna say goals. That's, that's, I delete my damn self. I told y'all I had goals. Uh, I, I did have goals. I, I accomplished all of them. Now I think rather I passed or fell them, I did it. I did it though. No matter. No matter if I stay now, I did it. <laughs> Whatever y'all like to say, I do. <clears throat> None of that matter when you know what you put in it. I hate to see people kill themselves because of shit like this, though. I know people that go through it and they kill themselves. Oh, I'll kill myself. Because that girl, he had that girl when he was ready to cheat on his wife. Because he had everything. He had that money, too. But see, his wife, he said, I want this girl. He was a lawyer husband. He didn't want to cheat on his wife, and that girl wanted him to leave his wife. So he said, I'm going to leave my wife first, thinking that's what loyalty is. No, you got to be loyal to God first. So you're a disloyal to God from the start. You wanted that woman because she looked better than your wife, but your wife looked better than her when you got with her. So where is the problem for real? Is the problem with your wife, with you, or with her? No, the problem with your whole foundation now. Because clown, you didn't know what you was, you didn't know what marriage mean. You thought it meant lust. So in your head, you thought she was going to stay looking like this dog. Not knowing she was gonna get old and gain weight. That's why I'm glad. I like, you know, older women and stuff. I like different shit because 
when life fades into that direction, it don't bother me at all. <laughs> I'm like, dude, you look like what you need to look like. Like, when my women get to the point where they get tired, like, I don't know how women get tired of getting their nails done. You know, that, that, for, I think it's like a, a stigma for emphasis and shit. And the ones I see get out of it, they don't, people think they get out of it because this demanding ass man. But no, they get out of it because they done did it so much. They tired of doing it. They probably done got into some other business curricular activities with their man. And they secretly like it and didn't tell him shit. They probably hate their man so bad that they're going to leave his ass and take all of that knowledge that on that man accumulated to this old Jody ass nigga, which is understandable sometimes because Jody will never move. Jody will never move from his parents' couch unless somebody go pick Jody up. I saw a person, bro, I seen women like that. I know a guy, man, a woman stay on his couch for so long. And she really wasn't that big, y'all. You know, she was big, though. That when chicken started really getting popular, not with the steroids, but it was getting popular. Like, chicken started selling it. Everybody wanted chicken out. Who give me a chicken out? So chicken shit get, get real popular. And man, they had to get a little forklift to get her off the couch, bro. And when they got her off the couch, her body print was still on the couch, bro. Still to this day, bro, that was like over 13 years ago. If that cow still exists, her body print would still be up. That's how bad it was, bro. And so, I done seen laziness to a, t to a whole nother degree, y'all. And it starts with a lot of rich folk, bro. They start trickling down. Even when you come down a lot of slow, you still come down. And when they come down, they be so prideful and privileged, like, Get me this, go over there, get me this, but they ain't got shit going for themselves. They they feel so, you know what I'm saying? And then, dog, God forbid them being blessed downstairs. All the women just give them everything. They go up to the man. They have to shake themselves off when they come up to me. They have to be, like, oh, oh, excuse, excuse. Me. Yeah, you, I said, I, I tell you, yeah, you better excuse yourself. I can't, I ain't finna do none of that shit you talking about. Cause I might even help a person. I might go get you a drink. If you fell off your bike, I might help you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I might laugh at you and shit, but I'm gonna help you. <clears throat> but, um, I'm gonna do all what I'm supposed to do to you first in the first 20 seconds that I meet you. To, and God don't like when I do that neither. So, that God won't, <laughs> so God will, you know, punish me for it, see your ass out. Because certain people are supposed to stay in your life for so long, but I got a way of why it say ass out. I go ahead and give them these three, these four or five test questions. God don't like nobody failing. You can't fail them. We can't fail them. I ain't nobody can fail them. So I give them them test questions real fast. You give a car with them test questions, they're going to fail it. They're going to fail it with flying colors because that's traditional to them. You know what I'm saying? That's the traditional shit. They're going to fail that shit ASAP.